Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO set review from Brick by Brick. Today we have Destiny's Shadow, set number 70623, contains 360 pieces and retails for $29.99. Contains three minifigures, one boat, and a little side build for the Vermilion. So, let's get started. A little Vermilion build included is this little hovercraft thing, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, it's kind of along the lines of the little Skylar hovercraft from the Tournament of Elements and the stuff that they did in Possession. I think the shape of it overall is pretty cool. It is built, you know, just this way. It's uh, kind of built so that the figure will be placed on, you know, a 90 degree angle to the thing, which I think looks, you know, good enough. And I like the use of these Urukai sword pieces, and I think overall it just looks kind of cool. And uses some newer parts like the inglet and the 2x2 two two corner tile. So I think overall, you know, it looks pretty good, and the Vermilion on here, Vermin, you know, you know, he looks nice and menacing, we'll take a look at him with the figures. The real big deal with this set is that we get another version of Destiny's Bounty, uh, kind of. This is actually kind of a smaller version in the show, um, it's a whole lot bigger than this, but it is uh, Destiny's Shadow. So I think that uh, overall, the just, you know, instant first impressions, it looks pretty cool. Um, the canoe is kind of steal the show, but um, it does have a decent amount of deck space for the size of the set, um, which I think is good. Uh, it has these two cannons up front, which are stud shooters, and there's a little frog in the middle, which you can remove and use that as just a frog, but you know, it's kind of like their little pet, I guess. Uh, it doesn't appear in the show at all. I like the shaping of the gold um, tube piece, the flex tube that is used to kind of be a railing. This part feels a little empty to me. Um, it feels like it should have a sand green barrier. Maybe it just clipped onto the um, tubes if you had a couple more of these clips. Um, I might do that at some point just to you know make it look a little better. And if I do, I'll put a video out on it. Um, it does have some of those new macaroni tubes, those little exhausts. And um, there are some ores underneath the bottom, which uh, we will, or which are removable, and we'll take a look at what they're used for later. You can probably guess. And it does have a little dragon head on the front, which is pretty effective actually. Um, it just looking like a dragon head, and it is kind of poseable. You can move around a little, but um, it doesn't look great. Uh, and I also built it wrong, but. Um, I think it broke while I had it just down there, but um, that's what it's supposed to look like, and I think that it does look, you know, pretty pretty respectable. The um, actual, you know, Destiny Shadow uh, itself um, does have like a control room area, which is roofed off by these pieces here, and it does include some printed tiles, uh, eight of them, uh, which are transparent black and they just, you know, have a little bit of silver printing on there. <laughs> they actually look unprinted in the instructions, which is kind of funny. But um, it does have these two lights as well, and the antenna that uh, go all the way back. And the angle of the roof here is kind of, um, you know, changeable. You can change that. You can make it kind of flatter or not flat. Lloyd does get a printed console on there, and there's a coffee mug, which is cool. I didn't realize this was a city set, but, um, you know, the engines from the back also look pretty good. And this piece here is used for a little play feature. You can see these wings on the side. Um, this is kind of looking like a boat almost. But um, when you uh, push this forward, the wings spread out. And then it kind of, you know, I don't know, it's a different form for the vehicle. And that's the form feature on the box. Um, probably because it looks a little better. And you do actually get an extra pair of those wings. They're in one of these little plastic sheets. But uh, I like how they fold those up using these arrow pieces. And in addition uh, to just the boat, you get these two canoes, which, uh, you know, are pretty cool. And they just, you know, use that Technic pin on the side. And you can fit, you know, two figures in each one, pretty much. Uh, um, that's how much, you know, space they take up. It looks pretty good. And that's what the oars are for. There's one oar for each canoe. And they do kind of like, you know, wobble back and forth as well. And without the canoes on there, the back of it looks a little plain because it kind of loses the sand green color. So I would have liked to see maybe instead of gray, these pieces being sand green, just because it would kind of keep the color scheme consistent with or without canoes. 
But uh, overall, I think that uh, the canoes look good. And they are on ball joints. You can kind of rotate these sections with the canoes up or down. Um, I would recommend keeping them down like that. If you can get them in a position like that, I think it looks really neat. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the ship build. So let's take a look at the mini -tiers. So this is, I think, the only set to include just one vermilion. And his name is Vermin. And he is, uh, I think, the only... Vermilion to have this combination of parts. This uses, I think, Ragmonk's, uh, yeah, this is Ragmonk's armor piece, and one of the standard Vermilion helmets. The snakes come out, he does have a Vermilion sword, which is a cool piece, but, um, he does have the two sides to his face as well, and you can use either one, really. Um, Ragmonk's armor piece hides this, um, standard torso print, I believe. I don't think it's exclusive to him, but it might be. Um, I still haven't gone through all the Vermilion Warriors with all their armor taken off and everything to figure out what armor pieces are exclusive to what. And there is the back of the torso print, which I feel like I've seen in a bunch of the sets, so I don't, I don't really know for certain, but there is the second side of his face, which I think is the one that they show in the box with this guy. And that is Vermin, and he, you know, does get his little side build, but, uh, I think this set focuses more on the ninja, so let's take a look at the ninja figures. So in this set, we get Lloyd and Cole, and um, they both are, you know, uh, in their standard Hands of Time outfits. Lloyd doesn't get his uh, shoulder pads, but other than that, you know, standard. And uh, Cole comes with the pause time blade, I think, right? That's what this is. Um, it's either pause or forward, pretty sure it's pause. And Lloyd just gets a katana. Uh, underneath the masks, you can see the standard faces. Uh, Cole also has the smiling expression on the other side. And the back print, you know, looks pretty good. And it is kind of their standard hint of time. I do like Cole's uh, um, regular or dark gray and black color scheme. I think that it looks cool. And Lloyd's dark green and uh, regular green looks really nice as well. Um, Cole is exclusive to the set. Lloyd also appears in Iron Doom. But, um, yeah. I think that they're both pretty cool figures, and you're definitely going to want this set if you want to get all the Hands of Time outfits, because Cole is exclusive. So I think that, that is something nice. And it's nice to get a Time Blade, just because the Time Blades are really nice pieces. So, let's get back to the final break. So overall, I think this set is a really nice one. I think that it's a nice, cheap way to get kind of a little ninja headquarters kind of thing. Uh, I think that it's a really nice vehicle, um, memorable from the show, kind of, and uh, I knocked over the coffee mug, but, um, you know, but other than that, the set does have some good parts and, you know, looks good. I like the figure selection that you get here, and I think that it's a good looking ship. Uh, as for how, uh, you know, how it stands up against the rest of the wave, the uh, Dragon's Forge is fantastic. The smaller sets, I don't know, they're not... I would prefer getting this one set over getting the two smaller sets, Desert Lightning and uh, Vermilion Attack, but that might just be because, you know, I... I mean, it's because I like the build. I don't know if everyone will enjoy it as much as I did. Um, I think that it has some cool, or a nice feature, and I think that it's a good way to, um, you know, hang on to your ninja figures. Kind of makes a good looking mobile headquarters and a very good substitute for everyone who cannot afford Destiny's bounties, like all the ones that they've done. Um, I think that it's nice to be able to get a smaller version of some kind of mobile ninja boat. So I like that. I like the set as a whole, and I think that there's not a whole lot wrong with it. So overall, I'm gonna say that this is a pretty solid one and definitely the better of the two thirty dollar hands of time sets so hope you guys enjoyed this review let me know if you did in the comment section down below and i will see you guys all later bye everyone